All right, this video came to me on a whim. I figured I would just share this information because it could be helpful to somebody. If you look at your 11th house in your natal chart, it'll show you exactly what you should be posting or the types of things you should be posting on your social media account. So this is gonna be really short. Uh, if you want me to go further and elaborate more, I will just comment that below. Also comment what is in your 11th house. So that makes it a lot easier. Um, the degrees, you know, if you have conjunctions, anything like that. So if you have a fire sign 11th house, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you want to inspire and encourage other people online. Whatever that looks like for you, you can make them laugh, you can make them feel something, you can just like give them daily motivation, weekly motivation, anything like that. Obviously, if we're using TikTok, you're gonna wanna utilize the trends. If you wanna hop into my Patreon, I do have trends that I upload over there um, weekly. So go ahead and check that out. So if, again, if you have Aries, Leo, Sag, it's all going to be about inspiring other people. If you have it in an air sign in your 11th house, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you're going to want to share and communicate ideas. This is going to help you go viral. This is going to help you communicate your feelings and your emotions, your thoughts that you store inside of you. Okay. Now, again, what's the point of even posting? I believe the biggest thing with posting is to communicate to other human beings and then also find your tribe, the people that you resonate with, your soul family, your karmic group, your flame family, whatever you want to call them. All right. So if you have it in a water sign, 11th house, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, you want to say you want to share spiritual, creative, intuitive messages. So if you're a tarot reader, an artist, a singer, an actor, or you just want to, again, tell jokes. Like, you can do whatever you want, but you want it to be in alignment with that specific house, okay? When you have planets inside of the house itself, that adds another layer to the meaning. But definitely, this is just a very general video. So when you have it in a earth sign, you want to focus on manifesting. Manifesting for others. So telling people how to make food, how to get money, um, how to get resources, how to like, you know, do things around the house or family things, very practical things. It can also be funny. It can also be rude. It could be whatever you want it to be. But those are some of the deep basis areas that you want to tap into. So I'm going to be going over this on um, the full moon in <clears throat> Gemini. I'm going to be covering how to use moon magic. I'm gonna be covering social media. I'm gonna be covering what I do and how I actually go viral every single day based on my own personal chart. And also I just use TikTok in a way that I feel like is efficient. So go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I appreciate you all dearly. Thank you for the support. Go check out my music, Sunny Motherfucking Money on all platforms, all streaming platforms. I just dropped a song called shadow work and if you want a video on that go ahead and comment that also appreciate you all peace